What's up, YouTube? Back at it again with another installment of Summer Shredding. So, today is legs. Today's Friday. So, happy Friday to everybody. Um, legs. So, I'm actually feeling kind of good today. I don't know if I'm going to go super heavy or anything like that, but I'm definitely going to go and try and hit the muscle uh, the best I can. Right now, I'm hyped up on 300 milligrams of caffeine, so definitely ready for the workout. <clears throat> as far as the scheme and everything like that, I uh, don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to try and keep it very resourceful. So I want to get the best out of every set that I do, that I'm not wasting any time or energy. So, my mind is right, feeling good, can't complain. About to get in the gym and do this one time. So, hope everyone else is doing well. And thank you for watching as usual. So, gonna cut to the first set now. Cool. So, <clears throat> start with barbell squats. I already warmed up. I did a barbell squat, just the bar, getting the range of motion, getting the muscle warm, lubricating the joints. I supersetted it with a leg extension. Didn't have a range of reps. Just felt, just before I felt that lactic acid buildup. So. As far as thoughts for this uh, exercise, I don't think I'm going to be killing myself with this. I can feel a lot of stress in my back right now, so I'm going to take it easy. Um, keep control form. As far as like this, the tempo of the reps, I'm just going to do whatever I feel, but get the most out of it. So... First work and set. I felt good. Lower back didn't feel too bad, but it's only one plate, so gonna rest up, get another set in. Okay, so there is a weight increase of 50 pounds, 25 each side. Save it for the next set. 
Okay, two plates. I got my trusty spot Tyler here. So the plan is I'm gonna do try and get 15 reps. If I can't get 15 reps, then I'm gonna do a drop set. But if I can get 15 reps, then we're good. <sighs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good for now. Okay, stay with me. That's good. Woo. Oh. Cool. So, regarding the squats, I'm surprised I made it to 15 because the way, like, my muscle, it feels like I have no strength. It feels like I have no power to, like, keep myself steady and centered. I got to 10 relatively okay, but once I got to 10, I felt like the cramping and everything in the legs. So I'm glad I was resourceful and got the spot. So that's that. Leg press now. What I'm thinking for this, I'm going to keep my legs as close as possible and go quad dominant. So four plates on now. We'll see how this is feeling and then we'll go from there. <sighs> That felt good. I'm gonna do another set. Cool. Set two. Let's groove. for you guys what gives me extra horsepower when I'm doing this instead of grabbing here or it doesn't matter what what it is I like to grab the seat and keep my body as compact as possible and push instead of like 
allowing the energy to disperse. So I feel like when you keep tight, you don't want to keep too tight because at the end of the day, your body is a hydraulic system, right? It's a closed end system. So as your, your blood pressure builds up, you have the potential to pass out, right? So you don't want to squeeze too hard. Make sure you're breathing, getting oxygen into your brain so you don't pass out. But that's my little technique there. I like to hold on to the seat. I'm going to do one more set. See you guys there. Cool. You know what the worst part about the leg press is? Is when you got to put your shit back. That shit alone is a workout. So when you're too strong, when you're strong enough and you're doing too much weight, you got to put that shit back. I'm not at one of these fancy gyms where, you know, you pay extra to get the staff to move your shit. I got to move that shit myself. So I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm always in the dungeon. Fuck you mean. Bench lunge. little tip if you didn't notice when I'm doing the single leg on the bench I have one uh, I have one arm in a neutral position or sorry in a, in a prone position and the other one neutral so when you hold it like this your, your leg is not bumping in to the weight but if you turn it prone turn your hand prone you have a little bit more space to do it so that was a good set not gonna lie this is the first time I've done this in years so it definitely feels good I'm not a big fan of unilateral movements so this is definitely a change but I'm gonna go up and wait and do another set so when I say I'm fried right now I'm super fried like it's probably been about three minutes still haven't caught my breath but I don't want to waste too much time so I got I think like eight plates on this now so this is my last set I'm gonna try my best to go balls to the walls really keep tight really keep the tension on the legs or on the quads. I think this workout will be more quad dominant. I'm probably going to do maybe a, ha a hamstring movement, but this is definitely more quad dominant. So, wish me luck on this. Easy, easy stuff, easy, easy, easy. Fuck. 
The fell in my head was about to pop there, for real. I didn't think I was going to get a lot, but I didn't think I was going to fail at five. Oh. Oh. Yo, I barely got that up. You did it for more than one, though. <laughs> Yo, my head nearly popped there, man. Holy. Cool. You know the worst part about the leg press is? Is when you gotta put your shit back. That shit alone is a workout. So when you're too strong, when you're strong enough and you're doing too much weight, you gotta put that shit back. I'm not at one of these fancy gyms where, you know, you pay extra to get the staff to move your shit. I gotta move that shit myself. So, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm always in the dungeon with Fuck you mean? Bench lunch. Little tip, if you didn't notice, when I'm doing the single leg on the bench, I have one, uh, have one arm in a neutral position, or sorry, in a, in a prone position, and the other one neutral. So when you hold it like this, your, your leg is not bumping in to the weight. But if you turn it prone, turn your hand prone, you have a little bit more space to do it so that was a good set not gonna lie this is the first time I've done this in years so it definitely feels good I'm not a big fan of unilateral movements so this is definitely a change but I'm gonna go up and wait and do another set okay <coughs> last set <clears throat> Do this leg first since it's weaker. <sighs> Unilateral movements are so important. I just hate doing one leg at a time. I don't mind if it's one arm at a time, but if I could just blast all my energy on 
like a leg press or the squat, leg extension one time, like it's so much better for me. But unilateral movements, they're definitely better for symmetry. So if one leg is smaller than the other, or if one leg is stronger than the other, you may want to use your weaker leg first and then go to the stronger leg because the stronger leg is already developed. So I think I'm finished with this. I think I'm done with this workout. I'm going to see if I could get a quick glance of the legs. So see you in the next clip. Okay, I'm going to make this quick. I'm a little not pumped, so this is how we're looking. One thing about the legs, I know the legs are getting leaner when the veins start to pop out. No veins yet. I hope they'll be coming in shortly. So that's that. Appreciate you guys watching. It's another installment of Summer Shredded. I think this is part 20 or 21. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to still be consistent with these videos the best I can. Sometimes my phone, I'm doing everything on my phone. All the video recording, all of the editing and, editing and stuff. So sometimes uh, the app will lag and then it will kick me out. So then I got to restart it and then do it. Da, 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 da. So, but bear with me. I hope to upgrade to other useful and better technology soon. So until next time, appreciate you guys watching. Be well, eat your protein. <laughs>